Hello, this is a quick tutorial for infinite jump or double jump, depending on what you want. So I'm going to use the default third person character, open it up. Now, if you just want an infinite jump, you can go over here to functions. If you hover over override, you can click here and click can jump. Then you can just tick this node to true, compile, play. And now you can jump infinite number of times. That's it. That's all you need to know. But if you decide that you want to have a double jump or triple jump, whatever limited number you want, you can follow this. Create a custom event and call this double jump. Now I'm going to create a variable called jump times, the number of times jumped or you're allowed to jump. Now we're going to create a simple branch. And for this branch, we're going to check to see if the number of times jumped is greater than zero. I'm going to set this to two for a double jump. Now if it's greater than zero, we're going to subtract one to minus integer minus one. But if it's equal to zero, we're going to set it back to the default amount, which is two. This is not the proper way to set up the variables, but this is just a quick way to get it done. Okay, now we're going to go to the jumped part, and we're going to plug in that custom event that we just made. That will subtract the amount of times jumped. Compile. Now we can go back into the can jump, and we're going to create a very simple, whoops, create a simple greater than zero. Connect this in. So now if the number of jumps is greater than zero, you can jump. But if it hits zero, you won't be able to jump anymore. So let's test it out. One, one, two, can double jump. One, two, double jump. Let's try setting it to four. One, two, three, four. Can't jump anymore after that. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Very simple.